boils, bumps, and bulging lumps. As we age, we start to see our bodies change in shocking ways. But how do you know if what's on your skin is a reason to be concerned? Today, I have a pimple-popping professional who says these worries are all too common. Please welcome Dr. Pimple Popper herself, author of Put Your Best Face Forward, Dr. Sandra Lee. Thank you. She sees all kinds of bumps and lumps on a daily basis. What's the biggest mistake you see folks making? Probably they, they don't come in soon enough. You know, they let things grow to a big size. And I mean, I see some really big ones in my office. All right, let's yeah. look at some of these different types yeah. of bumps and lumps uh, that we find on our skin. And we're gonna start with one, right. you know, because we asked all you guys to send in your lumps that concern you. And Dr. Pimple Popper herself is here to help figure out the answers to these. So yeah. this is a pretty typical image that we get. What's going on here? Um, this is what I call an abscess, but a lot of people know as a boil. That's probably more of a layman's term. And uh, the problem is, is that there's this pressure underneath there, and we need it to be released. And so the best thing that you need to do, the most important thing that you need to do at home, if you can't see a doctor, is to really apply warm compresses to this. Maybe three or four So, but real quick, if you push here, it's still sort of hard, yes, right? Yes, it's but like that. May, yes. Maybe here's soft. a little soft. Uh -huh. okay. So that's starting to come to a head, but we need more of it to come to a head because we want it to get so superficial that it ruptures on its own. The thin skin yes. will not be able to hold yes. it. Yes, the warmth allow, kind of draws this up to the surface and allows so, it to... I built you a model oh just for you. Goodness. I stayed up all night making this for you, Dr. Pimple wow. Popper. So the first thing you said... <laughs> This is the skin, obviously. Yes. There, there's all the layers of the skin beneath these abscesses. Yes. You can go pretty deep in here. Yes. You said put a warm compress on there, right? right. The, not boiling, just warm. Yeah, just and warm. soak it. How mm -hmm. long? Um, maybe like 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Even if you want to take a hot shower, that helps too, because then you're clean too. You're in the shower, and that helps to bring it to the surface. You want it to come most superficial because the most, the more superficial something is, the less likely it is to cause as much of a scar. But you want to get rid of that pressure because that pressure is what makes us so uncomfortable. The moment that that releases, people really feel great. Afterwards. So. I'm gonna put the gloves on to keep your hands clean this okay. one time. Okay, do I need a splash mask? You might, we'll see. Okay, uh -oh. so let's say I, I put the soaks on there, it's okay. ready to go, right? You'll notice, by the way, there's a little black mark there. Uh -huh. right? That's typical because that's, you often have a little hair stuck in your pimple, mm -hmm. right? Yes. The foreign body is causing the problem. Yes. And then as you put the warm soaks on there, yes. you'll get a little weakness there. Oh and then gosh. with the weakness, you'll start to get a wow, little bit of look this. At you. Look at that. Now, what I often take, I don't know if you ever do this, a sterile needle, yes. and I'll go a little bit horizontal like that and puncture it. But oftentimes, you don't have to do that. All you've got to uh -huh. do, geez, it's resistant. Uh -huh. All you've got to do is, is continue to put that warm compress. Yes. And with time, you'll gently Massage milk it. Massage it out, yes. You see that? Yes. And this is gently come more and more and more. And then here's the best part, that one that I love doing, which you can start to do now. Uh -huh. Once you've gotten a lot of that pus out, right, get your you tweezers. Can <laughs> you can do it. Wow, look at those tweezers. Go I those want tweezers. those. <laughs> Go in there and get that hair. This is going to feel so good. Yeah. Oh. That's where, then that's where the information oh. will go away, yeah. Does that feel good, everybody? Does that feel good? I mean, please. That's a, the, the, you, you pay to be able to do this. Yeah. You can, and once, you, once this is out, of course, the hair is out of there, then all this inflammation goes away, everyone's happy, and you can show off. But right. video it and send it to Dr. Pimple Popper. That's right, I do need those videos. <laughs> all right. That was great. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything. And remember to check back often to see what's new.